here he is, the homeowner accused of shooting a young woman to death after she turned into his driveway by mistake. 65-year-old construction worker Kevin Monahan is charged with second-degree murder of 20-year-old Kaylin Gillis in upstate New York. Friends and family members of Kaylin's crowded around her boyfriend Blake here in the courtroom, rubbing his shoulders and consoling him as the judge spoke. It was also their moment to come face to face with Kaylin's accused killer, who the prosecution described as ill-tempered and impulsive. When the judge made his determination that there would be no bail, we also saw Kaylin's father pump his fist in approval in the front row. I spoke with Kaylin's grieving grandfather. We were huddling together as a family, um, sharing stories, pictures, and um, this will be a long haul, obviously, but we'll be together through this whole process. The slain woman's boyfriend, Blake Walsh, says he was driving an SUV with Kaylin and two other friends up this long, winding driveway. They realized they were at the wrong address and turned back. That's when police say Monahan opened fire from his porch. My friend said, they're shooting, go, he said. I tried to step on the gas as fast as I could, and that's when the fatal shot came. I want to believe it was instant. I'm praying it was. Monahan's attorney says three vehicles came up the driveway at the same time, spooking his client. It's late at night, three vehicles, including a motorcycle, come tearing up the driveway, revving the engine, shining the lights in his house. He doesn't know who they are or what's happening. Does your client have any remorse for what he did? This is a tragedy. and. He was involved in the tragedy and he feels terribly that there was a loss of life. And we're seeing for the first time video of the elderly man who shot the 16 year old black teenager who mistakenly came to his house in Kansas City, Missouri. 84 year old Andrew Lester is free on $200,000 bail, but was back in court today. He was stooped and leaned heavily on a cane as he walked into court. Lester's grandson is speaking out today. It's just crazy. I wish it didn't happen. I also get lost on those streets. It's easy to do. Ralph is recovering from his head wound. This just released photo shows him on his family's deck with attorney Lee Merritt. The alleged shooter pled not guilty today. Meantime, the family's lawyer says had the bullet hit Ralph's head just a fraction of an inch in any other direction, he would probably be dead. He calls the teen a walking miracle, and we agree.